Hi everyone! This video is going to look at some tricks for modeling AAC apps specifically on an iPad. So what we're going to look at are some tricks to highlight the buttons that you're touching so that it's really clear to your student or client what the button pathway is that you're touching if they can't necessarily see what your finger is doing. So this will work if you are using iPad mirroring into a virtual teletherapy session that's live or if you're just screen recording something on your iPad. We're gonna look at three different apps. The first one will be Touch Chat, but the same exact trick can be used in Lamp Words for Life in the same way. Then we'll look at Proloquo and also Snapcore. So I hope this is helpful. So the first tip I have for making your modeling a little more salient on the iPad is um, Assistive Touch. So it's under Accessibility in your settings. Go to Touch assistive touch and you just make sure it's toggled on and you'll get that little square that is your tools. So then when you're in your AAC app, you can select what you want it to do. I think newer iPads have an option that says pointer, which you would want to use. My iPad is older. I didn't have that. So what I did was made a custom touch. So you push that plus button. I just tapped the screen once and said save. This is going to be for my AAC modeling. Now, anytime I touch a button, if that AAC one is selected, that little circle will just follow me. Another idea is in your settings, you can do this on Touch Chat or the Lamp Words for Life app, is scroll all the way down to your button settings and select dwell time. I put mine at 0.7, then that just means you have to hold the button down a little bit longer before it selects. So that gives some visual input for your modeling if your students can't see your fingers. Now, for Proloquo, I found something I liked in the settings access method. If you toggle this on select on release, it gives you this nice red highlight. Yes. So again, that's um, to get your student's visual attention towards the buttons that you're modeling. Now here's a tip for Snap Core. If you go into settings, user, then access method. If you say touch exit, then done, then same thing that will give you a nice highlight when you're modeling.